Waitress Molina Salazar. A remarkable woman from Texas. Dedicated nearly two decades of her adult life to working at the same Lubbies restaurant in Brownsville. Initially accustomed to navigating through various challenges and handling difficult customers. Salazar encountered a particularly challenging patron named Buck. A World War II veteran with a pervasive dislike for everything around him, despite Buck's grumpy demeanor. Salazar became the sole employee willing to wait on him when he started frequenting Lubbies. Over time, their interactions would prove transformative for both of them, Molina Salazar. A middle-aged waitress at Lubbies. A cafeteria-style restaurant in Texas. Viewed her job with a sense of fulfillment. Contrary to the conventional perception of waiting tables. With six years of experience at Lubbies and a total of 17 years as a waitress. Salazar not only enjoyed her work but excelled at it. Widely considered one of. If not the best. Waitress in the establishment. Salazar prioritized excellent customer service. Treating every patron with respect and sympathy. Regardless of their behavior, known for her perpetual smile and efforts to uplift everyone around her. Salazar's outstanding service and positive attitude caught the attention of her co-workers and managers. Consequently, she was assigned a special role to handle the most demanding and picky customers at Lubbies, embracing the challenge. Salazar approached her duties with the same dedication that had defined her career. Despite the difficulty associated with dealing with demanding patrons, she continued to provide swift and respectful service. However, one particular customer's behavior was so objectionable that other waitresses hesitated to take his order unless absolutely necessary. Dealing with the customer in question was undeniably challenging for Salazar. As he proved to be one of the most problematic patrons in her entire career. Despite the difficulties, Salazar had her own reasons for persisting in serving him. The customer in question was 89-year-old World War II veteran Walter Buck Swords. A regular at Lubby's whom the staff sought to avoid. Buck had acquired a reputation for having a short temper and an unpleasant personality. Making him someone the waiters and waitresses preferred to steer clear of. Buck's daily visits to Lubby's for lunch only fueled his reputation over the years. His demanding nature. Coupled with a penchant for finding fault with various aspects. Made him a challenging customer for the staff. Eventually. His reputation became so notorious that no one wanted to serve him, no one except Salazar, while it was a known fact that everyone encounters grumpy individuals. Buck took it to the extreme every time he entered the restaurant. Unpredictable in his reactions. He would invariably find something to complain about. Irrespective of the food quality or time of day. Buck's impatience and crankiness with orders reached a point where even the most seasoned waitresses in the establishment gradually grew weary of his unreasonable demands, unlike the rest of the staff. Salazar embraced the challenge of serving Buck and would approach his table with a bright smile. The question arises, how did Molina Salazar consistently serve Buck while others couldn't, despite Buck's grumpy reputation? Salazar believed that the key to successful customer service was respect. Like her colleagues at Lubbies, she too had encountered difficulties with the infamous customer. Admitting that the first couple of times she served Buck tested her composure. Salazar acknowledged being on the verge of losing her calm demeanor. Nevertheless, Buck had managed to earn a special place in her heart over time. As Buck's grumpiness escalated, leading others to become indifferent towards him. Salazar emerged as his primary waitress, attending to him almost every time he visited, unfazed by his temper or remarks. Salazar viewed Buck simply as any other customer or an elderly person in need of assistance. Beyond manager requests or other customer needs, she wouldn't stand idly by while Buck sat unattended. For her, Buck was just someone seeking the best possible service. And she was determined to provide it, despite Buck's aversion to many things. He harbored a love for one aspect, the Lubby's menu. However, 
He did have one strict and rare request, whatever he ordered. He wanted it served piping hot. Salazar even noted that he enjoyed it when the food burned the roof of his mouth. After serving him for seven years, Salazar had learned precisely how Buck liked his food. In her commitment to meeting Buck's expectations, she ensured that his orders were served exactly the way he preferred. A testament to her dedication and understanding of his unique preferences, Salazar consistently put in her best effort to bring happiness to Buck. Even though it was no easy task. Over the course of seven years, things gradually improved. Salazar not only worked diligently to perfect Buck's food but also served him with a warm smile. Reflecting her inherently kind nature dot a naturally engaging person. Salazar went beyond the basics. Attempting to strike up conversations with the grumpy man about his day. The restaurant staff marveled at how she managed to maintain a cheerful demeanor and handle their most demanding customer. Despite the challenges. Salazar greeted Buck with excitement each day. Viewing him differently from everyone else. Occasionally. She even managed to elicit a smile from him as they got to know each other better point seven years rolled on. With waiters and cooks cycling through. Yet Buck remained a consistent figure at Lubby's. Coming in at the same hour for his daily meal. His colorful personality had made him a prominent figure at the restaurant. Setting him apart from other regulars. When Buck failed to show up one day. Even those servers who hadn't appreciated him began to notice his absence. Though none displayed much concern except for Salazar, accustomed to seeing Buck every day over the past seven years. Salazar found herself growing increasingly uneasy as the day progressed without his usual appearance. Like all her regulars, she eagerly anticipated seeing him and knew the precise time he would drop by. However, as the day unfolded with no sign of Buck, Salazar couldn't shake the overwhelming thoughts that something might have gone wrong. Despite his seemingly healthy and energetic disposition, despite Salazar's efforts to brush off negative thoughts, genuine worry for Buck lingered in her mind. As another day passed with no sign of him, the absence of the regular customer became increasingly conspicuous. Buck, who had never missed a single day, was noticeably absent. And Salazar was the only one among her co-workers who seemed to miss him dearly. While Salazar speculated that Buck might be unwell and needed a few days of rest. There was no way for her to check on his well-being. As days turned into a week. Salazar's concern deepened. But she remained positive. Assuming that Buck would return soon. Her co-workers. On the other hand. Started joking about Buck. Asking Salazar if she missed her short-tempered customer. Salazar laughed off their comments. Confident that Buck would be back shortly despite her decade-long tenure as Buck's primary waitress. Salazar realized she knew little about his personal life. He never shared any details. Accepting his preference for privacy. She continued with her routine. Serving customers as she always had. However. An unexpected discovery would soon alter her perspective, amidst the bustling environment of Lubby's. Salazar eventually forgot about Buck. Out of nowhere. She stumbled upon something in a local newspaper. Feeling compelled to pick it up. Without a specific search. She noticed something written on the obituary page that instantly caught her attention. In an instant. She discovered the reason for Buck's prolonged absence from the restaurant, tragically. Salazar learned from the newspaper that Buck had passed away. And she found herself feeling bewildered and unable to comprehend the news. Despite the challenges. She had grown to appreciate her grumpy customer during their time together. After reading his obituary. Salazar was rendered speechless. Standing in shock and staring at the details on the page, the unexpected wave of sadness caught Salazar off guard. Surprising her with the depth of emotion she felt. Struggling to make sense of her own grief. 
she couldn't believe the sudden rush of sadness and loss that gripped her heart. While her co-workers continued their routines. Seemingly unaffected. Salazar couldn't help but feel heartbroken at the realization that she would never see one of her favorite customers again, her colleagues. Unable to understand the reason for her sadness. Questioned why she mourned a customer who had seldom smiled. Despite the limited expressions from Buck. Salazar had found a special place for him in her heart. She grappled with the pain of knowing she would never serve him again. Struggling to comprehend the depth of her own emotions that I in response to her grief. Salazar did the only thing that came to mind, she sent out a heartfelt prayer for her favorite picky customer. Hoping he would find peace in the afterlife. Despite the loss. Lubby's continued its daily operations. Attending to the needs of its many other customers. The rest of the service staff remained oblivious to Salazar's personal sorrow as they carried on with their duties, the staff at their fine establishment seemed indifferent to Buck's absence. Some were even relieved not to encounter his grumpy face any longer. They rejoiced at the prospect of being spared his sneers and curses. In the rest of Texas. The world continued without pause for Salazar. But after Buck's death. It felt as if everything had ground to a halt for her, Salazar experienced an emptiness within. Frequently catching herself staring at the door. Hoping Buck would walk in. Although she knew it was an unlikely occurrence. Despite her limited knowledge of his life. Salazar held immense respect for Buck. Knowing he had served during World War II. She admired the sacrifices soldiers like him made to preserve people's freedoms, moved by what she had learned from Buck's friends and family. Salazar had aspired to make his life better. Eventually. She accepted the need to move on until an unexpected phone call disrupted her routine. After some time. Salazar's life started to regain a sense of normalcy as she made peace with Buck's passing and resumed providing excellent service, then. During her break, Salazar received a call from an unfamiliar person, a lawyer, who asked for her by name. The lawyer's words initially left her bewildered, thinking it might be a mistake or a cruel joke. However, the lawyer confirmed his identity and the legitimacy of the information he was about to share. Salazar struggled to comprehend the news, unable to grasp the context. The lawyer revealed himself as the legal representative for the late Walter Buckswords, informing Salazar that she was included in his last will. He proposed a meeting the next day to discuss the inheritance Salazar was left in a state of shock, attempting to process the overwhelming information. Nevertheless, she agreed that the old man had prepared a remarkable surprise for the waitress who had graced his establishment with a smile for the last seven years of his life after the call. Salazar found herself grappling with indescribable emotions. The mystery of what Buck could have left her lingered. And more perplexingly. Why her? Following her shift at the restaurant. Salazar simply wanted to head home and contemplate Buck. The lawyer was scheduled to visit the next day to complete the necessary formalities. All while she continued working, intrigued by the question of why Buck had chosen her for his will. Salazar couldn't help but wonder what distinguished her from his friends and family. Despite Buck's consistent lack of kindness and interest in her life throughout their time together. She discovered that she had learned to adapt to his grumpy demeanor and had even developed a genuine care for the old man. Salazar reflected on every memory she had of Walter Buck swords. Seeking answers. As she retraced those memories that night before falling asleep. She recalled his perpetual lack of kind words and acknowledgement. However. She also recognized her compassion for him. Coupled with immense respect for his profession and past. Despite her efforts. She never felt appreciated or believed that Buck noticed her attempts to make him happy, the next day. The legal attorney representing Buck arrived at her door. Mirroring the surprise she felt when the lawyer called. During their meeting. He disclosed the specifics of Buck's last will and the unexpected legacy he had left for her. In the end. 
the veteran bequeathed to the waitress his favorite car and fifty thousand dollars salazar found it hard to believe that buck had chosen her for such an incredible gift among all the people in the world foreseeing that salazar might hesitate to accept the gift immediately buck had made a firm request to his lawyer to ensure that she would ultimately receive it as he predicted, Salazar wrestled with the decision of whether to accept Buck's generous gift. The lawyer assured her that Buck would find peace. Knowing he had made her life better through this unexpected act of appreciation. After careful consideration, Salazar decided to cooperate with Buck's attorney and honor the old man's final wishes. She felt extremely grateful for Buck's unexpected act of appreciation toward her. Recognizing that no amount of money could equal the value of human compassion and kindness, despite not expecting this gift. Salazar believed that a simple act of gratitude was more than enough to make her feel her work was worthwhile. She pledged to maintain the same smile on her face. Treating people the way she would like to be treated. As long as she continued to work. In addition to gratitude. Salazar learned a valuable lesson that she would carry with her for the rest of her life, looks can be deceiving, Buck. With his seemingly angry and hot-headed demeanor. Prove to Salazar that appearances don't necessarily reflect a person's adherence to simple virtues. Inspired by Buck's example. Salazar made a promise to herself to continue being cheerful and helpful. Never expecting anything in return. Regarding the gift. She was aware of the responsibility to use it wisely. Ensuring she could extend Buck's generosity to others in need.